already on fish, even though it, cause it's a foot deeper. It's a bass, but I'm not sure. Yep. About the same. A little smaller. Quit splashing me, buddy. How about that? Quit splashing. <laughs> All right, guys, another one. Yeah, he's about the same. About a pound and a half. Not a bad one. Not a big large mouth. Once again on the pulsar. A pound and a half. Oh man, way out in the middle. Down deep in the middle, Wilma. I just went way out there, just in the middle of the lake. I hope they're gonna be congregating out there. Now we're all green bait out there. You still got your same one on like me, the blue one? No, you took it off, didn't you? You still got this one though. Honey, the bluegill one. One with the blue back. You still got it. All right, guys, my third bass worth mentioning. About a pound and a half. I got him on the Bandit 200 Chartreuse blue back. Not bad, guys. Not bad out in the very middle of the lake. Yeah, nice one. It's the bigger one, definitely. No, it's not. Thought it was. See, we're perfect because we're in six foot of water and my crankbait goes five foot down, guys. So this crankbait is just chugging along the bottom about a foot off of it. That's exactly what you want. He's about two pounds. A little better. Wilma's on something here, I think. Yeah. Oh, you got a big crappie. You lucky dog. Let me get a good photo of you. On a six cents crawdad crankbait, guys. 
Well, we found the crappie. Oh, Wilma. He's 12 inches, too. Hold him up with a crankbait. Good job. Eh, like sideways, though. I think the sun's one of the problems. There's nothing I can do about it, though. But your hat will block it. You lucky dog. <laughs> All right, guys, she just caught a 12-inch black crappie on a red and orange six-cents crankbait. There you go, just like that. Tilt his tail up a little more. You got him diagonal. Or he's straight. A little more. Like, like flatten him out. There you go. That's what, yeah. Perfect. Okay, just hold that pose. There you go. I knew something was wrong because he wasn't jumping like a bass. That's a good crappie. <laughs> Man, he's thick. Isn't he? We found him, we found him. Where'd you get him, to the left? Out that way, behind you? He's deep. He's really decent. Huh? Guys, that is a nice crappie she just caught. Without a doubt. Nice black. Man. That's an unusual lure to catch a crappie on. crappie though. <laughs> the bass. No, it's a nice crappie. Finally worked guys. I got the orange dream sickle on. I've really slowed this lure down. What you need is a, a lighter jig. You need a 1 16th ounce jig head and you need to reel it in even slower. I got a 1 8th but it's really too heavy. Man. Here. Hold on. Alright. Here we go. We're figuring them. We're gonna figure them out. Then I gotta change my battery after this. Alright guys, me and her have each caught one nice 12 inch crappie. 12, 13. guys over the past two years it's just amazing we watched them go from seven to 13 inches in two years wow now that's what i came for if i can't get the five pound bass then that's what i want that's a beauty now we're getting somewhere look at he's easily 12 isn't he see As soon as I changed the orange dream sickle, it was on. Man. Awesome. There he was again. Got it. Uh-oh. I think I got a grass carp. No, it's not. It's a bass, though. You're not what I'm after, buddy. Go get a crappie. 
Now you go back and tell them crappie, that's what I want, not you. I want you if you're about four pounds or bigger. Not you. Get out of here. Oh my gosh, nice crappie, Wilma. Yeah. Right here, huh? Really? inch crappie here on um, kind of like a road runner head with a little two inch grub hold him up stuck sideways again that's not bad guys we just had two hours where we didn't get a single fish up just a little bit down there you go Keep holding it like that though. Smile. We'll try to smile. Smile once. You look real depressed. Come on. Smile. I'm gonna tickle you. <laughs> that anchor rope though. All right, I did something different. Four foot down instead of six foot down and I'm reeling it in like this. Reeling it in normal instead of slow. So I changed my tactic guys and I instantly got a fish the first time I changed it. I thought to myself, all right, they're on now. We just got more fish than we did. We just got more fish now than we did in two hours. Yeah. All right, we got to get a fish, uh, picture of, of us holding both of them at the same time, du holding a double once you get it off. Take yours off. Yeah. Take yours off, and then we're going to take a picture of each of us holding both of them at the same time. See what I mean? I know. Okay, here. Here, here. I'm going to get a picture of you holding both. And then you're going to show me holding both. Alright guys, we just got doubles. Hers is about an inch longer than mine. Mine's 10, hers is 12. So two inches. Okay, you want to hold them up a little? There you go. Like that. Yeah, just hold that pose. There you go. Good job. The one in your left hand, turn it in towards you a little bit toward the tail. There you go. Now spread your arms just a tad. Okay, now go in just a tad. Like make their tails closer. There you go. Good job. Okay. I got 
three big nice crop, you know. Hey. Heck yeah. yeah. Hey, I don't want to stay. I was getting it's ready really to leave. thick. That's a big, really big crop. Mm-hmm. Let me get the slime off. <laughs> I wish I put the beading. I think we were fishing under, is what I'm trying to say, guys. Because I was I was letting my using a one eighth ounce jig head, and I was letting it fall six seconds, and I was doing a real slow retrieve, and I was getting nips. But now I just let it fall four foot, and I'm reeling it in faster. And we both just caught fish doing that, so it's looking promising now that that sun's going down. I'm reeling it in almost twice as fast as I was, and I'm two feet above them, or two feet above where I was. I'm fishing four foot down and eight foot of water. Man. All right, guys, well, that ends our day. We caught five crappie total all from they were all 11 to 13 inches about 10 large mouth half of them were a pound and a half hers and the other half were eight inches really slow day we thought it was going to pick up at dark and it did for a second but then it went dead again i think it's because the wind quit all in all slow day this hurricane's really turned the fish off Till next time, hit that like button and please subscribe.